Hello guys, it's me Simu Orohara and in this video I'll talk about the Bankai of Mayuri, Konjiki Ashisugi Jizu. And I'll talk also about Nemo in her past because she has an indirect relationship with Mayuri's Bankai. So as a start, the Bankai of Mayuri has the distinction of being the first Bankai that Kobo revealed in the manga and that was during the battle of Mayuri against Yuryu. And by the way, that battle is one of my favorite battles in Bleach. In that battle, we first discover the Shikai of Mayuri, which awakens it through the launch command cheer him Ashisugi Jizu so that the sword is shaped like the face of a sleeping little child and Kobo made this form based on the Buddhist beliefs so that the name Jizu is the name of one of the gods in Buddhist is charged with protecting children and travelers so even his shape as you can see in the shape of a small child more than this is charged with protecting children who die before the death of their parents therefore we see in the Bankai mode it becomes in the form of a giant child but not any child and if you want to be more precise it is in the form of an unborn fetus that's why we see his head is huge because as we know fetuses are distinguished by the fact that in most states they have a huge head and Kobo indeed relied on Buddhist uh, both in the name of the Zanpakuto and even in the initial form but the shape of the Bankai itself especially its embryonic form is related to the former vice captain of Mayuri, Nemo. Because in the past, when Mayuri wanted to create Nemo, the road to achieving this feat was not paved with roses, but he faced several difficulties. Nemo's full name is Nimuri Nanago, which means sleep number seven. And the reason why Mayuri chose this specific name for Nemo is that it was the seventh experiment in the framework of this project called Nimuri Nanago. And the first experiments from one to three were unsuccessful and there was no significant achievement in them. But in the fourth experiment, Mayuri and his team managed to form a brain. As a result, they treated one of the team workers in his dispersion. And as you can see, he puts a, a kind of bandage on his head and it seems that he was suffering from great damage uh, at the level of his head or the brain in particular. But using the technology that enabled them to create a brain, they treated his head. In the fifth experiment, the brain that was created developed into the shape of a fetus. And here is the important point in this topic. The technology that enabled them to make the brain to a fetus, they used it to modify the Zanpakuto. And it seems that the one who used this technology was Mayuri. And notice what Akun said. He said that because of that, Mayuri became a captain. And as you know, one of the most important conditions for being a captain is to achieve the Bankai level. So when Kona heard Akon's words, she immediately remembered what Bankai Mayuri looked like. That's why we see Mayuri's Bankai in this way. The fetus, as we said, is distinguished by its huge head, and this is also what distinguishes Mayuri's Bankai. We don't know exactly how Mayuri used this technology to modify his Zanpakuto, but it may be the same uh, in, as what happened with Orahara Kiski. Orahara Kiski invented Tenshintai to obtain chain Bankai within three days. Thus Mayuri may also have speeded up the process of achieving Bankai through the technology of the fifth experiment. Of course, it will not be like Orohara Kiski, but the period has become shorter. And let's continue with the seven experiments of the project Nimuri Nago. As we said, the fifth experiment enabled Mayuri to form a fetus, and this fetus has developed into a child, but the lifespan of his life stopped with two years, because as Akon said, that was the lifespan of modified souls, and the seventh experiment Experience was completely different because it was Nemo. Nemo was an experience that exceeded all expectations. Even in Mayuri, he was like living a dream because of that. She has gone beyond the usual life cycle of modified souls, and her unique evolutionary abilities made her grow and acquire many skills until she reached the form 
we saw throughout the events of the story. And back to Mayuri's Bankai, if you have noticed, the basis of Mayuri's achieving a Bankai is that he modified his Zanpakuto and this is one of Mayuri's biggest skills. Being a scientist and possessing several technologies, these capabilities enabled him to benefit from them in developing his Zanpakuto on several levels, whether Shikai or Bankai. For example, in his fight against Yuryu, we noticed that Mayuri was able to paralyze Yuryu by stabbing him directly with Shikai. But in the events of his fight against Pernida, Mayuri developed the Shikai ability by making him able to immobilize everyone around him using only Ashisugiji's voice. And of course, he needed to stop Zaraki to do this technique, but he would have paralyzed Ikako and Yumichika if they hadn't closed their ears, like what happened to the poor Hanacharo. And at the level of Bankai, Mayuri made several modifications. Among them, he was able to control the area of poison that the Bankai could spread. As Yumichika said, Mayuri's Bankai was able to spread poison in area of 100 ken, while Mayuri showed that he can manipulate space as he likes, and he has developed Bankai to another level. Level, so that Mayuri developed a modified Bankai capable of giving birth to a new Bankai. And this new Bankai has abilities based on the information that Mayuri collected during the battle. And the new Bankai was with new ability that enabled Mayuri to defeat Bernida. And this strategy in itself remains terrifying because it will always make Mayuri's Bankai with new abilities and adapt to each new enemy, which makes the opponent himself unable to predict the abilities of Mayuri's Bankai as the latter is constantly modifying it. For this, as I said in a previous video, Mayuri replaced for the deficiency that he may have at the level of skills that characterize the rest of the Shinigami from the power of Ryatsu or Zanpakuto and even Kido. He replaced all these skills with technology that speed up his mastery of various skills. As I said, he used the technology of the fifth experience to master his Bankai and he also also has a unique ability to modify his Zanpakuto as he likes, whether in Bankai or Shikai. He can even use non-Shinigami techniques like Quincy Hernikaku speed. This is without talking about his optimal experience, which is Nemo. And we have seen in the Battle of Mayuri and Pernida, Nemo sacrificed her body in order to defeat Pernida. Fortunately, Pernida didn't get Nemo's mind, or else we'd lose this character forever. And apparently, keeping her brain enabled Mayuri to recreate uh, her body but this time in the shape of a little girl and thus she lost her position as a vice captain and Akun is the one who took her place. In the chapter of hell Nemo did not appear and I honestly don't know how Mayuri's combat situation would be without her because in most of the battle of Mayuri Nemo had an important role in turning the tide of the battle in his favor. So is little Nemo still able to fight or did she just be become a sample follower for Mayuri or may have another role by accompanying Kazui in Ichika as they are almost the same age in terms of appearance. So guys tell me your opinion about uh, the Bankai of Mayuri and see you guys in my next video.